we have arrived at our destination and still there is none the wiser. We've arrived at Horton Bridge, which is actually where Amberley train station is, and also the uh, Amberley Chalk Pit Museum. So that was uh, Claire's first reaction, was we were going to the Chalk Pit Museum, mm -hmm. which we have been to before on a couple of occasions, and in all honesty, that is one thing we have done in Sussex, and if you're in Sussex, very worth doing. Very good, yeah. good, But that's not where we're going. No. What was your next? Train. It is. It's a train. I just um, said we were near Amberley Station. <laughs> Trains should be no surprise. Yeah. Um, well, they hire boats down there, so I thought maybe it was boating. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the first one, um, as you come past, there's a sign that says School of Rock. So I thought he was going to teach me how to be a rock chick. Which is a shame, I did Clearly not know I that that am. was there, in all, in all um, honesty. And yeah, then there was boats, but apparently not boats. And then over there, there's, what are they, bungalows or little holiday that would chalet be a things. cracking holiday adventure wouldn't it we're going to a bungalow <laughs> i know we've put two nights in the hotel so it would seem a bit strange so go on then spill <gasps> i'm not going to there's a lot of other people arriving maybe they want boats i'll tell you what we did get that these other people haven't got a parking space yeah that's true <laughs> didn't get a coat like that man so did we crikey no, but he's very trendy i this would flip not. this around and show you but that'd be rude to that man mm -hmm. but, yeah it's so funky. we'll just be rude about him behind his back um claire's big surprise in the end <laughs> which wasn't particularly <laughs> spectacular but it was just it was a cream tea was so you have had cake for your birthday i have had well no i haven't i've had scone and sandwiches but i really couldn't fit in the cake i've got a bit of brownie that's in my bag coming back to the hotel with me nice or later. nice and some more prosecco some more prosecco. <laughs> there's a bit of a prosecco theme running through this birthday <gasps> Ops. middle class wanker <laughs> princess <laughs> yeah, so um, this particular place where we are, I don't know if you could see in the background there, there's some uh, caravans. <laughs> my eye out. Yeah, uh, there's some caravans over there. They've changed, but the last time we were here, this is where Auntie Dillis's caravan was. And the last time we were here, Lucy was an equal pickle baby. About six months old. So uh, it's been a long time since we've been here, and we went over to the Riverside Tea Rooms, which was not as nice as it showed on the internet, but... The cream tea, my cream tea, which was the <laughs> glutinous option, was extremely nice. The scone was particularly the scone was nice. Massive. It was massive and it was very tasty. So I'm very pleased that we came here. Can't say the same for Mrs. C, but if you're going to be fussy with all this gluten free shit, then. You, you could possibly have played ice hockey with my scone. But it was a lot of cream. But it was homemade as yeah, well. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was, you know, yeah. effort had been made. And, and honestly, yep, you know, if, as long as you're not one of those gluten-free fussy people, then come to Horton Bridge, <laughs> go to the Riverside Tea Rooms. It's it's all right. <laughs> Damn it with faint praise. You're such a giver. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Oh, we're going now. Bye, we're off. I just wanted to video this little bit because right at this very moment in time we are walking on the world famous South Downs Way. Well it's not world famous but it's um, very famous in Sussex. The South Downs Way starts um, where the South Downs start which I believe is somewhere near Winchester um, and it finishes uh, at the top of Beachy Head where the South Downs finish and you can walk all the way along it and I have done on many occasions through my life including today look there is South Downs Way <laughs> fascinating thank you for that I'm trying to inform the viewers here well the viewer <laughs> <laughs> hi Bill and Marie you're not helpful you know Ros and Andy oh yeah oh. <laughs> What we've come to do now is to have a look at Amberley Castle, which is the hotel which was so expensive we could neither afford to stay here or even have our cream tea here. <laughs> Again, this is about as close as we're allowed to get. <laughs> Right, 
Right, well that's it for uh, the West Sussex part of this tour. Now we're off on a hot date to Tesco's in Shoreham. But can you hey, see this? It's blue... not my birthday anymore. Can you tell? <laughs> can you see this blue sky behind us? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a really lovely day today. So yeah, a hot day over to Shoreham. I uh, think that's still in West Sussex. It's, if it is in East Sussex, it's only just over the border. And then we're rounding off this afternoon in the proper half of the county. Uh, we're, oddly enough, we're going somewhere where we've actually been before. I believe. Yeah. That there is actually no East and West Sussex. That's just um, bureaucratic uh, lines and I believe there's just Sussex officially but because it's such a big county it's been split into two so that's the end of our weekend and I'm off by myself back <laughs> to the correct half of the county later <laughs> so we arrived at our final destination and it is somewhere that we've been before uh, and I'll just flip this camera around in a minute we're into the Sun so you might not be able to see it but we are here. Claire and I have buried our differences over uh, the East and West Sussex divide. Claire refuses to acknowledge that a border exists, but I think we all know it's that's an administrative not true. border, I think. I think it should be a hard border. <laughs> yeah, oh, anyway, I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to make East Sussex pay for it. <laughs> we're over here. We're over here in the east, um, and just before we do our last thing of the day, we're going to go for a little walk up to the Long Man of Wilmington, which is over here. You should be able to see there the Long Man of Wilmington. That is a local chalk carving celebrity, which apparently chalk carved. Chalk carved, yeah, whatever. But it is um, apparently the oldest person chalk carving, I believe, in Europe. I have to look it up again online. I did look it up. <laughs> We're giving you information that we don't actually know. But uh, who cares? That's the thing. There's like 51 people. Maybe one person cares. And if they care that much, they'll look it up. <laughs> Wilmington, long man. We have been to a lot of places, have we not? We have. We have. Um, a lot of them uh, in Europe, but quite a few places in the UK as well. And there is some really dramatic stuff. When we were in Scotland, I mean, the scenery is quite dramatic. But I have to say, right here on our doorstep, pretty damn breathtaking. I'm sure most of you know where Sussex is because of my 51 subscribers, uh, most of them are my family. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so that's not going to be a big surprise. But in case there is anyone looking at this from further uh, further afield, um, Sussex, the, the South Downs roll across the, the southern part of England and they fall off into the sea at Beachy Head, which is a little bit that way. Um, and they roll for miles and miles, I can't remember how far, 120 no. miles or so, um, past Petersfield. And I think they start up in, in Winchester. But um, they, it's, a, it's a huge set of hills and obviously Sussex sits down uh, mainly in the basin down there but it genuinely is a really lovely part of the world so you know if you are from further afield you know maybe over the border in Surrey or even <laughs> Kent <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean that if you're from Kent don't invade <laughs> us lovely, um, do come over you're have a look my head off. because you're short <laughs> right. so Claire and I have just climbed to the top of the hill here at the Long Man of Wilmington and because we've never been up here before that means that it's a new PB We're on top of the world, <laughs> down on something. first time up here <laughs> so we've come now to the last thing on the list for Claire's special birthday treat um, our world tour sorry not Claire's special birthday treat our world tour of Sussex continuing world tour yeah what we're trying to do for Claire's birthday all Claire's favorite things and I've already done one of those favorite things by almost slipping over in a cow pat. <laughs> <laughs> See how happy the present Mrs. Camsel is about that. Um, <laughs> we just went for lunch right down in Wilmington. We went for Sunday lunch at the Sussex Ox. This was lovely. Thumbs up. Very thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Not as good as roast potatoes as Andy does, but really good gravy and, and lovely beef and broccoli was spot on. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. We're just about to be attacked by a dog by the looks of it. Oh my God, you're <laughs> such a pessimist. We're not going to be attacked by that dog. Well, Look at it. It's I mean, lovely. It's not... waggy tailed and beautiful. I mean waggy attack. <laughs> Tell me that's not going to happen. 
<laughs> no, look, it's a trained dog, not like one we've ever had. Oh, that's true. We're back over in the east, uh, and this is the Ouse Valley Viaduct, which is a magnificent viaduct, and as Claire has pointed out, a very trendy place to come for a walk very. these days. Thank you, Jackie, for pointing it out. Yeah, because um, this is where everyone comes now. I think we're a little underdressed. We don't have the correct Wellington boots, and certainly not a barber jacket. No barber jacket for us, no. No, or motorbike. But it is a magnificent structure in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Uh, and I get a little bit of footage around it. I know I'm a super nerd, but it really is quite an impressive viaduct. It's beautiful. Look at it. Is. It reminds yeah. me of that um, aqueduct we saw in France, the Roman one. But you like a little bit of symmetry, don't you? I love a bit of symmetry, yes. <laughs> Sorry, getting also, close. Also, being in the right place is very important. It is for the microphone. How many times? Oh, yeah. It's not like this is our first vlog. I love a bit of symmetry, me. In it, though, I. <laughs> yeah, this could be the last tour we ever go on together. <laughs> <laughs> I think you moving me forward has ruined the uh, the bridge look. It's all overexposed now. Oh, okay. I Bugger balanced off, then. it. I balanced it there. Oh. That's better. I see what you're saying. Nice. I had a little autumn light in the background here. Mm. Anyway, we'll um, we'll go and have a look at the bridge, and we'll be sure to let you know if it's any good. Catch Meanwhile, up with you soon. I'm just going to be walking in a strange way while dragging one of my feet along the ground <laughs> to try and get the cow poo. <laughs> and I will be videoing in case it happens again. <laughs> See why I'm a windy old git? <laughs> Do you see that? Just laugh it up, Mrs. C. Go on. <sighs> you know, if she really loved me, she would have married someone else. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Do you see what it says? WSCC, West Sussex County Council. <laughs> They've put the nice viaduct in the west of the county. <laughs> you thought you were home, didn't you? <laughs> Come on, we're leaving. So that's the end of our world tour of Sussex. Turns out we're in the west after all. Yeah, we're also in someone else's video. Have you enjoyed your birthday, Mrs. I've had a fantastic time, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Um, uh, as have I. Uh, it's been a while, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, uh, see what I mean? Well, if you could turn on post notifications, that would be awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs>